Good morning, Instagram. It's the Backyard Beast. Blood, sweat, tears training. Got up early on a Sunday morning to spend this time with you. I'm out here in my gym. I normally come out here in the morning to meditate, think about what I'm gonna do today. And uh, you know, this is my kind of fortress of solitude. This is where I'm able to go in my, my zone and just really be selfish and focus on me. Not just the selfish part, but just being able to dial in, you know, to meditate, to kind of try to, you know, get back in balance to find my center. So I'm inviting you in. So the main reason I'm here is uh, I want to give you an update on my road to my full five bench, bench press. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, it's, I could say my training has been pretty good. Um, as of late, uh, you know, my, my, my program's been going pretty good. But the main reason I'm really here is I want to uh, introduce you to somebody. Here she is, the point of my obsession. What I've been talking about for the last year, the full five bench press. I want y'all to meet her. Now I know she's not nice and shiny. And uh, you know, I don't have 445 plates to put on each side. My boy Skill Sport Prep, Daryl in Hawaii, he has them all. But I'ma make do. Got some quarters, 45, 35, and a bunch of dimes. And that's it. Actually, all the weight I have, I got 410 pounds. So I just got two, 2.5s left. That's it. I know she ain't much to look at, but she's all I've been thinking about. And during the quarantine, you can't even get any iron. So you lucky, I'm blessed to have this. So maybe I pick up some more 45s. If not, I'm gonna ride with this. Now, I didn't just introduce you to her so that, to let you know that I'm uh, kind of strange, you know, because if you kind of follow a lot of people that that's really try to do big things and do really hard things, sometimes their habits are some, somewhat strange and extreme. So, and I would say uh, trying to do this falls right up under it at my age. But I want you to meet her. Uh, right now, Last night I did my um, chest workout. Um, I did five sets of five, 290 pounds. I'm doing a linear periodization that I put together and I'm progressing each week. I'm benching once a week. It wasn't my best workout. I was kind of flat. I didn't eat well. And uh, I was you know, stressed, and preoccupied, but I fought through it. I hit all my sets, all my reps. Like I said, I did five sets of five for 290 pounds. The last set I hit six, I forced out six. So I wanted more last week, I hit eight in my last set with the 280, but uh, I could only get six. But I know why, so no excuses. Another thing, I don't just have all this weight on the bar just to, to look at it. I wanted to see how it felt. So you hear a lot of power lifters, you know, talk about, uh, the CNS, the central nervous system. And what that is, that's that's your, that's your, I guess, your computer system and your body that, that tells you how to respond based on stimulus. See, when, uh, I guess, they throw you in the water, you can't swim. You don't know what to do, but your central nervous system is gonna send, like, volts to tell you what to do. Well, when you're working out, and you've been working out for a while, and you're building muscle, the more you progress in weight, your central nervous system, your brain is gonna tell your body that you have to create more muscle fibers to grow, to get stronger, to handle that weight. So the more you progress the right way in lifting, your body's gonna respond, if you eat well and do the other stuff, with the right fibers and stuff to help you build muscle to hit those lifts. So that, that CNS is serious. 
So for me, what I did was I wanted to see how that that four five felt. See, I never had that on the bar before. I never, I never got up underneath it. So I remember how I felt the first time I got up under three. And I was like, man, that felt crazy. So I could only imagine what getting up on the four felt. So when I got under the four yesterday, it was crazy, man. I mean, I'm gonna tell you something. And I don't tell anybody, but when I put that four or five on that bar, so when I got under the four yesterday, I'm gonna tell you something. And I don't tell anybody, but when I put that four or five on that bar, it was heavy as shit. I said to myself, man, I mean, my forearms, I feel everything. So I know exactly what those power lifters were talking about, those trainers, about the central nervous system. You know, but, um, I did about five of them and tried to hold them. Yeah, I held them about eight to 10 seconds a piece. And um, one, I even lowered a little slowly. So that lets me know uh, where I'm at and exactly what I need to do. You know, I wanted to max out the other day and I'm glad I did because I'm gonna stick to my program. I need to get a lot stronger and get, and, and, and get my core stronger and stabilize a little better. So when I hold that weight over me, man, you know, I got it. I can stay tight, I don't get out the groove. This is a process, this is a process. You have to stay true to it, you gotta trust your process. So, like I said, when I put that four five over me, I gotta be honest, something else came to my mind. I got a buddy of mine, little bitty fella, love them big girls. I, I don't know how he did it, man. I, I don't. I don't even know how he can get insurance. He loved them big girls, but but anyway, um, that's where I'm at. Uh, I'm gonna get on later on today to do a, a what's on my mind after dinner. Uh, uh, be safe. Uh, you're not alone, for we are one. Backyard beast, and I'm out. Peace.